Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a chit chat, get ready with me. And I'm going to be talking about some of the new products and some of the new launches that have come out that I was really excited about and wanted to try. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get into it. But before that, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, let's just, let's just get into it right now. So excuse me for looking crusty right now. I know I look a little like just not cute. <laughs> um, today, like I said, I'm going to be trying out some new products and stuff like that. But some other things that I've been up to lately, um, I know I've been kind of gone since I posted my vlog from when I went on vacation. I came back and got extremely busy and I just had to do a lot of stuff for my music that's coming out soon, which big announcement, but towards the end of this video. I feel overwhelmed a lot and I don't know why I'm being really emotional right now. I'm not about to get my period or anything. I just, yeah, I didn't even think I was gonna cry today. What am I doing? Okay, um, I just feel very overwhelmed. Um, I have a lot on my plate <laughs> and um, I kind of feel like I'm alone a lot of the time, which doesn't help. <laughs> it just makes me feel like I don't, Ew, why am I crying today? Ah, why am I like this right now? I did not expect to cry. I did not think I was gonna cry today. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is not how I wanted to start the video either. I just feel like I just miss my family a lot and I miss my friends. I miss my boyfriend and I just, I woke up today and I was like, wow, I just, I'm so alone <laughs> and I don't like it. I don't, I don't like that feeling of just, like, I know that I have people that are around me and care about me and stuff, but sometimes it just feels really lonely. So yeah, let me get myself together and try this again <laughs> and not be all emotional and cry. Okay, I'm good now. <laughs> I think I'm good. I don't think I'm going to cry anymore. <laughs> um... I haven't cried in a while, actually, so I needed that. It's okay to cry. I'm big on crying. I feel like that's just the best way to, like, get those emotions out that you haven't really been addressing and just, like, let it out because we just avoid a lot of those emotions, and I feel like we shouldn't. And then getting back to the makeup, okay. I'm going to be trying out some new products. Um, I picked up some stuff from Flesh. I've been seeing this everywhere. Um, it's a new brand in Ulta. Uh, it's a new brand that just launched as well. So I'm pretty sure they have their own website, but they're also exclusively in Ulta, so you can go pick it up in person. I was really intrigued by it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is really cute. So I wanted to try out some of their stuff. And this is the Flesh... I think I have the box over here somewhere. But I know this is like the illuminating primer. I'm going to put all those things in the description bar below just because if I don't say it correctly on camera. But I believe this is the illuminating primer. I'm just going to... Take a little bit of that and dot it onto my face and just prime it up. Yeah, I, mean, I think I've been just going and going and going so much that I have been avoiding kind of just like my own personal feelings. I am terrified. <laughs> terrified of, you know, next month. I think I think I just want to be honest and open with you guys about it. This is like me being my being vulnerable. I know I look a mess right now. Oh my god. I am being vulnerable and showing people a side of me that I want people to take serious. And I'm going about it in a very serious way. I'm not just releasing music and, and not doing it the way that I want it to be done. I feel like it's something that, you know, I I want to do as career. So it's just a lot of pressure. I feel like a lot of pressure. I feel nervous and excited and I listen back to my songs over and over again and I'm like oh my god what if people don't like this or I hear things and I'm just like really hear things as far as the music goes and I'm just I guess really critical of myself I didn't used to be always like that I would just like be and I feel like that's why people gravitated to watching my channel in the first place because I've just been myself always but this is different for me this is it's, it's uncomfortable and I've always put myself in like uncomfortable situations but this is a little different I feel like oh shoot like <laughs> I gotten myself into today I'm using the cover FX power play foundation um, they're coming out with concealers too so I'm really excited about that 
Um, I guess we can talk about a little tea or, or drama in the beauty world. So Beauty Blender has come out with new foundations and the biggest, you know, uproar right now with that, or I guess can't really say uproar, but just like the conflict with it is that the shade range is a little lackluster and um, it's not as diverse as or inclusive as some people would like it to be. And, I, and when I first saw the whole concept, I was like, this is a dope concept. First of all, bring out a new product foundation but then add your own product i mean it was just like the concept was so fire and i was just like oh my god i can't wait to try this and then i saw the, the shade range and i was just kind of like this don't really look like a wide range of foundation and i know that there's companies that want to are, are trying i feel like at this time at, at this time i feel like there's just so much there's so much like ability to do that to, to make sure that it's like, you know, inclusive across the board. And if you don't, if you, not saying that this particular company, but if there's not enough budget to do that, then wait till there is and come fully correct the first time, you know what I mean? Instead of like, don't ever rush it if it's not completely finished or if you have to add additional things because of budgetary things or whatever the case may be but i'm just saying in general i've, I've heard a lot of companies they'll say like oh we thought that we were gonna do it later and like it's like well if you're gonna have to do it later then just wait till later and then like come right so people won't be like i'm never gonna use you guys again or you're canceled because of x y and z because we live in a canceling culture where if you don't come correct the first time it's so bad it's it's bad for you so Anyway, aside from that, I, I do want to try it, but it's just unfortunate that it's not like the best range. But to me, there's a lot of selection for people that my skin tone and uh, or not up, but down, I guess, I don't know, whatever, on a lighter scale. And then there's like just a little bit of variation for people that are darker than me. And we shouldn't, it shouldn't be like that, you know? And I'm going to be using this thing called Haley's, I believe. It's called Haley's. I have the thing on here backwards, but my skin tone right now is on the tan side um and i'm just not gonna put any like illuminizer in here today i'm just kind of gonna go matte but i feel like this is going to match spread it in first and then go back in with my beauty blender and like really get all those little whatever Getting back to what I was talking about before, I have been just very like to myself, like with my emotions and just like not really talking about how I feel and stuff, I guess. And then I go to the internet and talk about how I feel, which is probably not the best <laughs> decision to make. I've just been feeling like super for the past three days. I haven't even been able to film because, and I, and I hate to admit this, but I've just been feeling so sad. And I and I and and I just like. I know it's because I miss my family so much and I didn't think that I've been here actually a year guys I've been in LA for a year and it and it's starting to feel like it you know it's starting to feel like damn I really am I have to get comfortable with not being home anymore and just like being on my own and I think it would be different if um, I was with my if my mom was here my brother my sister and just my family just being around being able to see them and talk with them and laugh with them and just be myself because I, I mean i feel like i can be myself with my friends but you know it's different when you're with your family you can just really like let your guard down i'm not know if i really like this i'm gonna have to like definitely contour because it looks a little bit too light for me still wow okay i really got tan apparently i don't know so yeah like you can let your guard down with your family and just be just completely be you know and like not have to worry about like anybody judging you or anything like that and not that i have that like around me but i mean i do but not constantly but um i just find myself missing them more and more and it just makes me really sad because i'm going through this really transitional phase in my life wow this is really matte though like this is super matte this is so matte this is like more matte than I like to be. I personally don't like being this matte because I like the dewy look, you guys already know that, but I guess we'll change it up today. Yeah, I just, I'm, I'm noticing that more and more, I'm like, oh my God, I miss my mom. I miss her cooking, I miss her getting on my nerves. <laughs>
Mom, if you're watching this, you don't get on my nerves, but you know, we like get on each other's nerves sometimes. Yeah, I just, I miss that. I miss that just like that family dynamic of just people like just having that around all the time just makes me kind of, I have a very intense hyperpigmentation scar right here. So I always have to kind of like do extra little love on it. I'm just going through this, this really big transitional phase right now where I'm going to be putting out music and I just wish that they were here with me to like just be here, you know what I mean? And not me having to do this kind of all alone on my own. <sighs> that's why I probably, that's why I had my little moment earlier because I it just like me saying it, I mean, I was feeling it, but for me to say it out loud was like different. You know, when you just feel certain things, it's like, okay, I'm feeling this way or whatever. But when you actually say it out loud, it's like, it makes it more real. Now it's starting to like oxidize and get a little darker. Well, in person, I don't know about on camera, but in person, I'm like, okay, this is not looking as white as it was looking earlier. But I'm gonna be using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. Um, yes, I did kind of test it already, but this is kind of like new on my channel. So my first time using it for you guys. And I can say that I really do like this concealer. It's amazing it blends very well which i like i'm just gonna do how i usually do there's probably like too much concealer on my face right now so i'm just gonna blend this in with my beauty blender um if you guys are wondering where this beauty blender is from which is kind of like as big as my freaking head it is from real techniques miracle body face and body sponge i like to use this versus using their one that's actually for the face or just for the face um because it just helps me blend in my Concealer and just my foundation everything so much quicker than when I'm trying to do it With a smaller sponge like smaller sponges now just piss me off. I'm like, oh my gosh I'm still like blending. I'm still doing this. I love using the body one for my face because it just it works so much faster I can't remember who introduced this to me. I think it was it's by Ray Ray I think she was the first one I saw with it. And I was like, oh my god. I have to get one I'm gonna take a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury beach stick leap leap <laughs> lip and cheek dewy color pop and this is in the color ibiza which i really want to go there one day hopefully soon me and jay have been talking about our next vacation place <laughs> because i'm already just like in vacation like i want to travel again and now you know that i've traveled once i mean outside the country and got to just like experience a different culture what am i doing in the states i need to be traveling more and that's one thing i'm like really excited about i hope i can do more of not just with my music, but just in general and just experiencing other things outside of the States. It made me appreciative of the fact that more accessibility to certain things. When I went to Bali, I realized like how you just, I mean, I know I was fortunate, but you just realize how blessed you are when you go somewhere else that isn't as, you know, has enough, has money like how the States do and how we have, or we're so accessible to a lot of things and we kind of just take it for granted. I'm not saying that everybody, you know, it doesn't like, it's not appreciative of what they have, but we just kind of like overlook the fact that we have so much at our fingertips and we can do so much and we have the freedom to do so much and we don't have really anything stopping us from doing what we want to do. Like, it's just, you just realize how, how fortunate you are. I was, I remember, I was getting emotional there and I didn't want to be like that one person that like is just crying because of no reason because I am like that <laughs> and Jay knows that I cry like all the time he's just like why are you crying because that's just how I like I show my emotion I guess I'm just like uh, an emotional person I, I just am that's I think artists are emotional people okay we really are okay and I get in my feelings a lot there's this little kid he was crying when we were, it was like our, our last day there actually um there was this little kid crying and he was with his mom and I think his brother looked like his brother could have been his dad I'm not sure but he was crying he was whining he was just like so tired and it looked like they had been walking for a while in Bali their scooters are a big thing there there's like an influx of scooters because that's how everybody travels they don't really have like cars like we do um so the little kid just gets on the bike or gets on the scooter and he like he's sitting in the front and the mom's in the back and the brother I guess is in the like in the, the mom's sitting on the side like say this is the scooter guys the mom is sitting with her legs like this the brother is like here and then the little boy is sitting in the front and he has his feet like on the scooter and like on the front part I I hope you guys can get the <laughs> image that I'm trying to paint for you and he was just like he stopped crying he was just like chilling but that was their way of transportation and i just thought man 
at such a young age and it's just so unsafe and I don't know it just made me want to cry I was just like wow I didn't have to ever experience that I didn't have to be you know ill I'm about to get emotional again I don't know what's wrong with me today <laughs> but it just makes you realize I'm putting L'Oreal and Fallible Foundation and I'm about to cry again what's wrong with me L'Oreal and Fallible Foundation Pro Pro Glow Foundation in 212 because I just feel like my contour is not as snatched as I want it to be um but yeah so I just I saw that and I was like oh my goodness I'm, I've never had to experience that my family is not like rich or anything but by any means <laughs> um but that was just different for me to see and, and it was just a norm for them and it made me want to in the future if I can not even if I can, one day I will do it. I want to just go to a place that there isn't, it's, it's impoverished and I want to help because it just, I, I, like I wanted to hug all the kids, they look so cute. I just, that yearning inside of me just really made me so appreciative. Even though I got to, I was living or enjoying my vacation and, and being able to do like different stuff, I just, it opened my eyes to wanting to just be more of a giving person. Um, because I feel like when you have it, it's good to give. And I've always been raised like that, just wanting to, I've, and I've always been that kind of person. And I don't like broadcast it on social media of the things that I've done behind closed doors that people don't know. Um, but I love to give back and I love to like, to just be present while I can, because I feel like we only have this one life and we're supposed to do things that help the fellow person that is, is incapable of doing that. So anyway, without getting into a tangent of giving back and all those things, I, I just feel like I have to do that just for my spirit. Cause <laughs> it was just such an eye opening experience to, to be, to just see those kids and like, it just made my heart just like, it made my heart happy but it made me super sad at the same time becca cosmetics i'm going to be using today this is the um soft light blurring powder in golden hour and i love this stuff um this is new this is something new i just started using and i haven't i think i've only used it twice so far but i love it because it has like these little gold reflectors in it i think that's why it's called golden hour it has like little gold reflectors in it it's so cool if you guys can see it from here then i have another my building be shaking guys if there was ever, I'm not gonna even speak that, but like, it's, it don't feel stable. Like, it's a nice building that I live in, but anytime a plane like goes over or it just be shaking too much for my liking and I'm just like, okay, why is it shaking this much? <laughs> I don't like it. Okay, so we have the next one is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So I believe that this would be something to use throughout the day, especially if you, you know when you get like those ugly little creases in your laugh lines and under your eyes, and wherever else you may crease if you have dry skin. This stuff is really tight. I put it on my face and I, I felt like it was wet. I was like, oh my God, it feels wet, but that's the purpose. It's supposed to kind of reactivate whatever cream that you have on and just like get it right and tight. So I'm gonna use this under my eyes and then I'm gonna use the Golden Hour um, setting powder on the rest of my face. And it really like gives that dewy finish. So if you were using like a dewy, foundation with that setting powder girl you'll be looking super cute so right now i'm using the hydra mist under my eyes or the hydra mist the hydra setting powder from becca and the reason why i'm using it under my eyes is just because i crease under there and i just kind of want that powder to be reactivated and like give me life back under my eyes i haven't done a flash test on this though so i'm not sure the flashback on this is is bad or not and then i'm going to use the rest to set the rest of my face or not the hydromus but the golden hour setting powder um right now i'm going to be using my black radiance um light and contour palette light to medium contour palette but i'm just going to lightly contour my face so it comes with six lipsticks two highlighters and an eyeshadow palette. I'm going to be using, so I'm gonna be using the eyeshadow palette. I feel like the colors are just super bomb. Like these colors are so pretty. I'm using Finders Keepers first. And I'm just gonna take my little handy dandy eyeshadow brush. So getting back into my music, and I know you guys are really 
wanting to know more information about that. I can finally say that my music is coming out next month in August. Yay, finally. I've been kind of pushing back, pushing back, pushing back, but I, I don't know if I can really share this information. I guess I should just go ahead and share it. So I have met with a lot of different um, music labels and stuff like that. I was, you know, looking at my options of what I could possibly potentially do with, you know, certain labels and things like that. I don't want to go into much detail about that just yet. A little up in the air, but, and I don't want to speak on something that I just don't know full information on or anything like that or just, you know, putting out anything. So that's what was kind of holding it up aside from legalities, which I've been telling you guys before. There's a lot that goes into doing things the right way and I want to do everything that I can the right way. I know a lot of people are like, you're yeah, putting any music out or questioning why I'm taking my time, but I'm not about to rush anything, especially something like this where I've been working on it for such a long time. I've been working on this since November till now. It's not just something I threw it together. It's not like doing videos where I can just pr produce something and then throw it up literally the next day. It's not like that. I hope you guys understand that and understand the process and just know that I'm not like titillating with you guys or playing on your emotions. Like, trust me, if I could put out everything that I want to put out, like right now, I would do it. But I just don't want to um, jump the gun. I'm gonna take my time. I hope you guys understand that at least because it's not like, I, I wanna do this the right way. I wanna do it seriously. I don't want it to be rushed or mediocre work. Like I don't want any of that. I don't. Next month will be a little bit different for me because I'm like I said, I'm putting myself out as an artist, which is kind of terrifying for me <laughs> um, because it's not like me being it's 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 just still me but it's a different side of me i'm still like building up this color which is the um finders keepers color i did the video which i'm gonna insert a couple clips in here so you guys can like get a little sneak peek of, of yeah. what it's looking like sim how are you feeling oh i love this girl what bitch i know <laughs> who am i <laughs> I wish I had done filming some Did you see me peeking extra Oh yeah, you were like, oh Chad. The good old um So we just got done filming some of the like first performance shots and now we are moving to a different part of the room or part of the house, which is like the bedroom. We're getting her done, right? We're getting her done. And then it's and then right now Russ will open up Yeah, you you could just step back here, that's perfect. Um Basically, it's gonna be your silhouette reflection off of the pool. I'm super excited about it. It took a day for us to do it. One of my good friends is in it. He um, took out time to do it. And I'm just so, pre so appreciative of everybody that like took out a day of their work just to help and just to be a part of it. And I just, I really appreciate that because there's not a lot of people out there that will do things for you and go, you know, over the moon for you, especially if it's not, not that it's not like benefiting them, but it's not about them. And that is what I appreciate about my team and just people that I have around me just genuinely want to see me win. That makes me happy. Sorry, I'm, I'm using a different shade now. I'm using this shade, Porquita, po is it Poquito Mas? A little more, which means in Spanish, in Spanish it's a little more. This video is, I'm just telling you guys right now, it's a little risque, but it's not like overboard, but it's definitely, I had to like fake it till I make it type of thing. I had to put on my acting hat. I'm a confident person, but I'm not like, you know what I mean? In my head, I was like, this is so goofy. Like I know I'm being really goofy in my head, but I had to pretend. And everybody around me was like, girls, like you've been doing this forever. And I'm like, honestly, guys, I was freaking out. Like I was having miniature like panic attacks in my head. I know that the video is gonna be freaking dope and like amazing. So that's why I'm like not really tripping too much. So I'm just gonna take that all across my lid here. And I kind of want it to be a little bit darker, but I'm just gonna pack it and build, build that color on. So I plan on having a listening party for my EP. I'm still trying to figure that all of that out and just getting that all together because it's just a lot. <laughs> I mean, I have people helping, but it just it's a lot on me too to like be involved and um, have my say. And uh, I don't know how people like Beyonce and Rihanna do it. I I genuinely don't know how how they have like all this time and energy is beyond me. <laughs> I'm like, dang. I wish I just need like 
I need some energy. That's all I need. My family. That's all I need is some energy in my family. And I'll be, I think I'll be okay. But now I'm going to be using the Flesh Blush in the color Fever. And it's like this nice red color. And I'm just going to take this blush brush here. And then I'm just going to apply that kind of like close to where the, found, where the, where the eyeshadow meets. But I really like this line because one, um, oh, I forgot to mention earlier, when I was covering my like little scar here, I was using the Flesh Foundation. This one's just a little bit too um, light for me right now because I'm like more tan, but this is in the color Apple Strudel. I've been using it as a concealer, which is bomb. It's like super pigmented as well. So if you guys haven't tried it out yet, I would suggest go ahead and try it. So right now I'm going to just put on my Boy Brow from Glossier. This little bad boy right here in the color clear. And I'm just going to go through my brows. And then I'm gonna take, I already kind of did it by accident, the Flesh Highlighter Stick in the color Twitch. I like to go in with a cream or a liquid when I'm doing like my highlighters. I'll give you the reason right now. When you put on a powder highlight, it even intensifies it even more. And then I'm gonna take this highlighter from Flesh again. And this is in the color Rise. I'm gonna take this little brush right here and lightly go through that. Now I tried to do a swatch with this. This is Soulmate from the, the Dose of Colors collection. The only thing I noticed with this, I was like ro rolling around in it and it started to like do this. It just kind of beads, beads up a little bit. Like, I don't know if it was pressed too hard and I'm not even really rolling around in it that intensely, I don't think. It kinda like chalks up a bit. That's the only thing I could say that I that I didn't really care for, I guess. But aside from that, like I said, it's a nice it's a nice highlighter color. I'm just gonna take a little bit on a brush. Like it's bomb. It's a bomb highlighter. And then I'm going to go on my lower lash line back in with a palette. Finders Keepers color. And then I'm gonna take a little bit more of the Poquito Mask color. Then I'm just gonna coat my lashes with the Amosio Big Lancome uh, Mascara. Favorite lashes on that I love so much. And they're from your Lash Bar. They are the Tequila Sunrise. I wear them all the time in like all my pictures because I just love those lashes on me. And I usually don't even like like crazy big lashes because I just feel like it's just too much. But, because my eyes are so tiny and I have like little lashes. But those just really like do something for my eyes. I don't know. It just looks so good every time I do it. These are the lashes that I was just telling you guys about. These are the, they're still drying actually, so you might see like a little white. Um, but these are the Tequila Sunrise um, lashes from your lash bar. I'm just going to use one of the lipsticks that are from the I Love Sahari Sahara, Sarahi, I think that's how you freaking say it. If I'm saying it wrong, I'm so sorry. Um, Karen's collab with Dose of Colors. And this is in the color Peachy. Now this is a really nice color. This is a really pretty color. And I feel like it goes pretty nicely with this uh, makeup look too. I think I'm gonna go in with a lip liner. I haven't worn liquid lipstick in such a long time. I'm gonna be using NYX, um, and this is in the color Nutmeg. So I really like this color actually, but I'm not a fan of liquid lipstick. So just for me personally, I like to have lip gloss on my, on my lips like at all times, but I really do like this color and it feels pretty good. Like it's not like super drying like most liquid lipsticks are, but I just personally for me, just that feeling of like, I like that gloss, man. We do have gloss too though. So I'm gonna take a little bit of brillo, brillo, brillo. Take a little bit of that in the center here. A little oomph, a little shine, since we shining already. And today's um setting, setting spray that I use is the Siat, I think that's how you say dewy spray. It doesn't have anything on it, like the, the lettering has come off, but I, I did that before I actually applied my lashes. I probably should have filmed that, but yeah, I already set my face. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do my hair and then jump back on here and show you guys. This is pretty much the finished look, but you know what I mean. All right, so I am done. This is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, even though I got emotional and started crying like a little freaking baby. For the most part, the products that I tried, I did really like them. Um, I feel like it. I feel like the foundation is really bomb. It has great coverage. 
um, both foundations mixed together, which was the Cover FX and the Haley's. The collab with Karen and Dose of Colors. Um, I really do love the pigmentation of the shadows. I feel like this is such a beautiful look. Like, this is so pretty. Um, my only, I guess, qualm with it, and I'm just going to be honest and open with you guys because there's no, like, and I don't think it's horrible. Um, the only thing that I would say that I didn't like was, and I love, I love the highlighter. I love how pigmented it is, but I just don't like the kind of, like, I don't know how to explain it. It just kind of like beads up a little bit on the skin. And then when you, you just have to apply it like very lightly because it's a lot of product. Um, I don't know how to explain it. It just kind of beads up. Like when I was like swatching it, it was starting to have a lot of fallout. Um, and I just didn't, I didn't, I didn't like that. I, I thought that was kind of weird. Flesh, I highly suggest you guys test out. They have magnificent products. Um, they have this like, lip gloss that I really want to get that I might have to go back and see if they have in store because I want to test it out but I tried it out on when I went to Ulta with their their tester it was so beautiful I was like oh my gosh this is like the perfect lip gloss so I hope that I can go back and test it out or hope I can pick it up I think that was pretty much it that I tried in my video today like I said I hope you guys enjoy what listening to this chit chat get ready with me I'll have new music out next month in August which is right around the corner and I'm like freaking out having like little venture panic attacks. <laughs> I'm really excited for you guys to to um, be a part of that and just, you know, finally get to hear some stuff that I've been working on. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video next time.